What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on Baba stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you why we have this massive breakout to the upside that added to its value about 21%. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you that we have uh, several bullish signs uh, from the bigger picture. We have quite bullish sign on the monthly and weekly timeframes. And I will show you them in just several minutes. So, let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here. At this very moment, I've told you that uh, we had uh, this type of formation and uh, I uh, drew this formation by connecting these several tops and these uh, bottoms. As you can see, we had this descending triangle and usually this triangle breaks to the downside. And uh, my main assumption was that, as you can see, we hit uh, the 0.236 Fibonacci retracement level at the price point of uh, roughly $85.87. And it is the Fibonacci retracement level if I pull this uh, tool from its swing low to swing high. And as you can see right here, probably we completed all five waves structure in it. And uh, this uh, might be the retracement uh, for the entire wave. And uh, 0.236 level is uh, the level where we might see a trend reversal only in uh, 10 to 15 percent of cases. And uh, more probable was the movement to the downside. But 15% worked uh, and uh, we have uh, this breakout to the upside with an increase in volume. And I have to say that this movement that breaks uh, this uh, previous uh, swing high uh, with the conviction of volume definitely shows the upside potential and the bullishness of this asset. So, and what was the reason of this movement? I have to say that uh, on a trading view, it is uh, quite easy to make an even uh, a fundamental analysis uh, by just clicking uh, this uh, small icon. And you can see uh, several headlines uh, that might be the catalysts uh, for this asset. And right here you can find uh, this article that was published on Seeking Alpha on January the 4th. And uh, let me quote to these boys. Alibaba shares surged nearly 13% Wednesday as Chinese stocks uh, on the whole rallied as Beijing gave uh, the approval to a massive capital increase to financial technology company and group. Prior to the start of trading, China awarded and group a $1.5 billion capital increase. The move was seen on Wall Street as a sign that China may be easing up on more than two years of regulatory crackdowns on many of our country's top tech companies. And as Alibaba owns about one-third of Ant Group, uh, the Chinese e-commerce and internet giant uh, was expected uh, to benefit from China's new financial policies towards some of its largest companies. And let me remind you that uh, the Alibaba's movement to the downside, let me show you right here if I switch uh, to daily time frame and uh, remove all the drawing tools, uh, as you can see, from this uh, point uh, we had the restriction of end IPO made by Chinese Communist Party and since then Alibaba was in consistent uh, movement to the downside. It formed a lot of uh, lower highs and lower lows and right here as you can see we have quite a good uh, bounce from its uh, bottom. As you can see, we have uh, this uh, range of about uh, $58.9 as uh, the range of support and from which we have this bounce. So, definitely this uh, movement to the upside should happen and we have uh, quite good uh, fundamental news uh, that drove it to the upside. Let me show you another uh, information. We are on Investors.com and this article was published uh, on uh, January the 4th and it says uh, China stocks uh, jump on signs of uh, regulatory easing, fewer COVID restrictions. And uh, fewer COVID restrictions also is the catalyst uh, for the uh, tech giants because it has a very high exposure on the area where we uh, might see the toughest restrictions uh, from uh, Chinese Communist Party. On top of that, the third catalyst is uh, definitely the removal of the listing fears. And uh, I covered this news also in uh, some of uh, my previous videos. But let me quote you these details. Uh, Baba stock uh, cracked down on Ant Group. 
Uh, initially revealed uh, in a notice on December 30th, the approval by the China Banking and Insurance Regulatory Commission removed a key hurdle for Ant as it seeks to meet requirements uh, for regulators following a crackdown on its business. That crackdown halted Ant's plan for a massive initial public offering in 2020 and took a bite uh, out of Baba stock. And as you can see, the date was December the 30th. And uh, if we'll take a look uh, on the price uh, chart again, right here, we can see that uh, this movement to the upside started uh, exactly on uh, uh, December the 30th. As you can see, if I, I have to zoom in a little bit. And here is uh, the first uh, initial movement, Friday, December 30th, 2022, and we had uh, this uh, movement to the upside. Definitely, it was uh, the reason uh, why we can see a lot of attention from uh, retail community and even institutional investors to this company. And let me show you that uh, uh, on the list of institutional investors, we don't uh, see any uh, major uh, changes uh, in this list, uh, because uh, if you remember, this file is only filing date and uh, the real dates of uh, deal uh, is about 45 days prior of uh, this date. This means uh, we might see the increase uh, in uh, this list, uh, the increase in position of this list, uh, not uh, earlier than in the middle or in the end of February. And uh, definitely this volume shows that uh, we have quite good interest from uh, institutional investors. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis, but before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, technically we have this movement to the upside that broke several uh, uh, key levels. One of them was uh, the previous swim high at roughly $94.77, as you can see right here, this previous swim high. And uh, with the completion of uh, all five waves uh, from its uh, uh, swing low on uh, October 21st uh, till it's swing high uh, right here on December the 12th. We completed all five wave structure and definitely the next movement to the upside probably is the beginning of uh, the next major wave. And if it is the case, definitely we should hit some higher targets. And let me show you that if I switch to daily time frame and if I remove again all the drawings tool or drawing tools, as you can see right here, we have uh, a breakout above uh, this uh, white line and it is a 200 exponential moving average. The crucial uh, moving average uh, that uh, is the sign for long-term investors in any assets. Uh, and if this asset breaks uh, this uh, range, this uh, range of resistance, and if the next candle opens and closes above this range, we might consider it as a bullish sign. And uh, we have uh, two candles basically that were opened and closed above uh, this range. And we have a good conviction of volume. And it is a very, very good sign. On top of that, let me show you that if I switch to a uh, monthly time frame and if uh, we'll take a look uh, on indicators, as you can see, as you can see, we have uh, very good support uh, from oversold territory on uh, RSI. And we are about to see the uptick uh, on the MACD indicator. And on the monthly time frame, it is a very, very strong signal of a potential uptrend. Definitely, we might see some kind of retracement uh, in a matter of next couple of uh, months. But on a bigger scale, we shouldn't break uh, this uh, bottom. And uh, because of this, definitely every red candle on monthly or on a weekly time frame might be a very good uh, entry point for the long-term holders of Alibaba because uh, we have a good bounce uh, from the range of support as I already mentioned and we have uh, very good fundamentals uh, that uh, are improving right now and we might see only movement to the upside that uh, should at least unload the entire structure, the entire movement to the downside from this top to this bottom. And to measure where we might uh, have this bounce, as you can see, I pulled this Fibonacci retracement tool from its top, from $321 to its lowest point, and uh, I have to adjust this tool to roughly $58 uh, to $57. And the next uh, now 
most probable range where we might land is $120. Definitely it is not uh, higher than uh, about 16% uh, of upside potential, but the next range of resistance might be right here at 0.382 and it is the price point of $159.24, which implies even from our current price about 53% uh, of upside potential. So, definitely, Alibaba for now is quite a lucrative asset and uh, definitely we have more chances to hit higher targets. So, I think from the technical standpoint that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye! I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm bad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up